Okay, so what we're going to do here, using the incline cutters, so the beauty of this tool, we can rotate the tool 360 degrees, so we don't need to worry about what side, uh, angle, anything we want to cut. So, the common theme is, if we're trying to do a relief cut in the base of the B-post, for example, if we're doing a uh, B-post rip, or we want to remove the B-pillar, normally we'd be on the tool, and we'd be coming in maybe from the back or the front, we'd be trying to cut here, okay, and quite often we're getting the tool moving towards the seat, or the casualty potentially getting our hand caught against the seat, or against the casualty. And a lot of the time we're then having to adjust the angle of the tool and coming from all, all different directions. What we're seeing with the incline cutters, straight away, and I'm just apologies for having my voice up just so you can hear me. With now, you can see I've got 30 degrees additional movement now because we've got the offset blade. So I'm coming in at a nice angle for my relief cut. I've now got this space, so I'm actually working further away from the casualty. Gives me more flexibility, more room to move, and I've also got a better visual of what's going on. Also, it allows my uh, colleague, if they have got a teardrop, they've now got a bit more room to get in there and use the teardrop effectively. Whereas before, when the tools weren't moving in here, with very limited close proximity to the casualty. I'll just complete this cut. Obviously, you can see what's happening. And obviously, you can see we've got a larger size of blade tips as well. So we can get in, as you can see here, it's what quite a large base on this three-door car. Um, we've got around it nicely. So I'll just do this cut. Uh, and then we'll also cut a section out of the A-pillar for our dash lift, just so you can see the effectiveness of this tool. See there, I've nearly severed it through, minimum tool movement, but the little that the tool did move, I've still got quite a good distance away from the casualty and impingement into the vehicle. So very effective, uh, ergonomically quite nice to use as well. So what we'll do now, we'll just go straight into a cut on the base of the A-pillar and again you'll see the angle and ease of making that cut without at all impinging against the seat or into towards a casualty. And again, I'm really liking the fact we can see the difference in noise of the generator where it's going from eco mode uh, to normal operating mode, which is a huge benefit on scene for minimising noise. Okay, so on that last cut now, we did get a little bit of movement in towards the vehicle, but it was nicely controlled. All we did there, uh, repositioned the tool round, uh, carried out the cart with loads of space, uh, no more issues with ingress into the vehicle. What's also good for the tool is, again, if we're cutting the sills, so again, whereas before we'd be down here, difficult on your back, a lot of strain working low like this, I can now be in quite an upright position to operate the tool again, because. 30 degree offset angle. Likewise, if I need to put a relief cut into the cantrail. Okay, I'm now, instead of before, trying to get the tool in at 90 degrees, holding it up at shoulder height, which is quite difficult. Um, for those that use the tool a lot, it's quite straining. I can now come in at quite a nice low angle, much better control, much better visual. Yeah, we can see there, we're coming in at a really nice angle. Um, which is a lot easier for me to use at all. So 
So again, don't forget when moving around, seeing cross over the blades, carry the torque by the handle, 45 degree angle, and we move around nice and safely. We've pre cut a section of the A-post out here. Okay, what we'd normally do is, I'm not going to go into the sequence of how to do a dash lift, which is showing you uh, the use of the dedicated spreaders. But very briefly, we cut a section out of here, we get the spreaders on there, we'll spread, I'll do this in a minute, we'll spread that out of the way, we'll put the spreaders in there, we'll tension them, and then we'll cut the piece out of the A-post. That way, this is maintaining structural integrity at the top here, once I've put my spreaders here, I'll take up the load. We then cut this so that hopefully then the spreaders are holding the dash up and it doesn't drop anymore because obviously that's what's pinning the casualty or casualties. Uh, again, we cut quite high on the A-pillar because if we're doing our emergency plan, we're going to be freeing up the lower limb entrapment first before we do our main plan. Otherwise, we don't have an egress should they deteriorate suddenly. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to carry on uh, and complete the dash lift. What you will need to be more mindful of is when you place the tips in the gap, you need to angle the tool as such that when you start opening it, it's actually opening so that it lifts the dash up and not at an angle where it's either pushing part of the lower A pillar in or pulling it outwards. Um, and obviously make sure we've got good stabilisation underneath the force of your spreaders. Okay. Okay, what we do is we'll stop there because obviously this car ain't playing ball and it's uh, not quite happening as we should. You get the basic idea. There's a lot of strength in there, a lot of it's giving way. We had issues with the stability, but for the, dem for the demo purposes, it's not perfect, I get that. But you can see there, that's the idea. We have created quite a bit of lift there, but we've lifted the dash straight up. You can see it's also lifted up the car. So obviously you've got to maintain stabilisation at all times. Uh, some vehicles, there's other videos on the internet um, show it working a lot more effectively uh, but hopefully for those of you that aren't familiar with this kit just to give you an idea of the process of doing the dash lift all we do now is just quickly look at the back of the car and we show you how to create a little bit of internal space creation uh, using the spreaders to relocate the back seats 